Good morning or good afternoon to all my friends in China. I'm talking to you from Singapore. Uh, this is in the context of the 21st Century Annual Finance Summit of Asia. And I'm going to talk about the evolving insurance industry. I thought it would be helpful for me to begin uh, by talking a bit about myself. Uh, but before I do that, I would like to share my slides so that it's easier for you to follow the conversation. Uh, this is the cover slide uh, of, uh, of your summit. Uh, and to talk about myself, I thought uh, I should tell you, uh, it is probably quite obvious that I'm Chinese. Uh, my father was born in Fujian in 1922, and he immigrated to Malaysia with his father at the age of four. That was about 96 years ago. And I grew up in a very small town called Simange, Simangye, and I went to school in Kajang High School. I got my fellowship uh, from the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries in 1984. I was amongst the first Malaysians to get a fellowship from the British Institute. I became a CEO rather young in my life at the age of uh, 34 in 1994 uh, of a British company called uh, Prudential, uh, the British Prudential Assurance Company of Singapore. And in the years 2001 to 2006, I was uh, in the world of psychology. I, I got a master's uh, of psychology from Columbia University in New York, and I was working with a British firm uh, in a psychological consultancy company. And in the last 10 years of my corporate life, I was working for a very big cooperative movement belonging to the National Trade Union Congress of Singapore. And about three or four years ago in 2017, I stood for election to the council of IFOA. Uh, and uh, then about two, uh, and two years later, I was uh, elected uh, to be a president-elect, and today I'm the first president, uh, first Asian president uh, of IFOA. Uh, and IFOA is a 160 uh, years uh, institution, uh, an institution which is uh, very proud and with a rich history and has great influence in the um, financial industry and more specifically in the insurance industry in Britain, uh, in Asia, in Africa and throughout the world. I want to talk about uh, the evolving uh, insurance industry in two contexts. This slide was from 2017. At that time, the world was accelerating into the digital world. So I call that major inflection points. Yeah? In the center uh, of, the five, of the six globes, in the center were the major inflection points. And the first globe up here, was that it was about digital and it was about networks. It was about machine platform and crowds. And in this regard, China is very ahead of the world uh, because China has enormous platform companies like Alibaba and Financial, WeChat, Tencent, and many other more. Uh, and China did not have a well-developed banking systems with ATM and credit cards, but you leapfrogged. Uh, US, UK, and the Western world were well developed in credit cards and ATMs and the traditional banking system. So they are slower in the adoption of platform companies, with the exception of the social media platforms, which are slightly different. But underpinning all this change was also about longevity. Lives are getting longer. And also, the world was getting more global. And Mother Nature, which is about the planet Earth, was also suffering because of climate risk. And then Moore's laws was galloping away with the doubling of computer speed. That was 2017. But in the last one year or two years, change has come in the form of risk and uncertainty. I use the word risk and uncertainty because actuaries deal with risk and uncertainty. And one of the biggest one is COVID-19, the temp pandemic risk. The other two risks are more political. The Western world and the Eastern world are not working as well. So globalization is falling 
apart. And as a result, our ability to solve global problems are reduced because global problems require global cooperation. And actuaries have a less to say about that because it's a political issue. The next square is about climate risk, bushfires in Australia, fires in California and many places, drought in Africa, Asia and throughout the world, typhoons and hurricanes are coming with increasing frequency. And here is a picture. The fifth square is a picture of bears and bulls. Markets are becoming more and more volatile, which means that it's harder to do financial management and investment planning. And interest rates for the first time in the last, since recorded history, interest rates are becoming negative. And that is a real source of uncertainty for our training and for us. So in handling all these issues of inflection point, risk and uncertainty, what's the best way to do? I suggest the best way to do is to ask ourselves what we are good at as actuaries and how do we evolve? We evolve through the many challenges we face. Actuaries for the last 400 years look at problems which face us. We use mathematics. We use our training, our skill set and mindsets to ponder over things which has no clear solutions. The unknowns, the uncertainty, the probability, the mortality, the morbidity, the expected returns and the variance of returns. That has been our strength. So in our strategy for IFOA, we concentrate on two things. One is skill sets, the second point, and the Third, the second point, uh, uh, and the, the next one is on mindsets, which is the third point. Skill sets is about modernizing our mathematical tools. Uh, the probability distribution stochastic processes are insufficient in the face of big data. So we are introducing things like data science, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. But more importantly, is our mindset. Because our mindset of accuracy, cautiousness, consistency and reticence, which are which we are very famous for, which are very good because it makes us reliable, are less useful in the world of digital revolution, in the world of the fourth industrial revolution, and in the world of a different kinds of risk and uncertainty which are arising, which I will call systemic risk, not systematic risk. So in our response to it, we are giving new tools to our members in terms of data science, in terms of climate science, and also a fellowship in banking, which we are unfolding because we want to equip our members to be able to work in different domains. But more importantly, we want to make sure that actuaries are relevant, influential, and impactful in the workplace, whether it's a bank, insurance company, or a government organization, or in a consultancy, to be relevant, influential, and impactful. But the British IFOA has also a wider agenda and what they call it public interest. What are we doing for the good of the industry and the good of society and the good of humankind? So in that area, we are focusing on areas of sustainability, on how to we respond to pandemics, how do we respond to climate change, how do we respond to challenges of diversity. And those are the areas we are very interested in. So we value the values which we inherited it from our past in our traditional roles, uh, which is about accuracy, cautiousness, consistency, and reticence. But they're not enough because in the world of digital, in the world of fourth industrial revolution, in a world of deep-seated non-linear risk and non-linear uncertainty, we need new mindsets. And the new mindsets are uh, being curious, being adaptable, and having a growth mindset, which means our ability to persevere, our ability to experiment, and our ability to learn. And then the, ability, then the new mindset of courage, being bold, and to be imaginative, 
to think outside our box and ultimately to use good judgment. So these are the values we are encouraging our membership to embrace so that we could navigate the digital revolution and the world of uncertainty. And as the world changed, as it changed for the insurance industry, as well as for the financial services, we have to adopt new mindsets. We cannot change the world, but we can change the way we respond to the world. Thank you for your attention.